So before we get into the actual prompting, let's first talk about prompt priming. Now, prompt priming refers to the practice of providing some initial input to the model before generating your response. You're basically training it on a specific data set. So this input uh, is intended to guide a model like ChatGPT towards generating a response that's more relevant, coherent, and trained for the user's intended output. And you can use entire pieces of text that you've written in the past. So you could literally paste in, if you're a writer, you could paste in all of your past work from the last few months. And ChatGPT will essentially understand how to replicate your speaking style, tone, grammar, and the words that you use. And you can use that with any type of data. So let's dive into these examples that further explain how prompt priming works. So for our first example, without priming our prompt, our question is, where should I go on my next vacation? So ChatGPT has no context, no uh, data or details on how to effectively answer our question. So it's gonna just tell me any destinations around the world with no criteria. Now, if we go in and we prime our prompt, we can say something like, I like to go on a trip with my wife and kids. The location should be tropical. We'd love to be close to the beach, and I'd like the flight to be a direct flight to and from LAX, and my travel budget is $5,000. Then I ask my question, where should I go on my next vacation? And the priming output is one suggestion for your tropical family vacation within a $5,000 budget can be Cancun, Mexico. Direct flights from LAX are available, and you can find affordable, all-inclusive packages with pricing starting around 1000 per person for a week-long stay. And popular family activities you can do in Cancun include snorkeling, visiting ancient ruins, and exploring local beaches and restaurants. So it addressed who I was with, where I wanted to go, my budget that I had, and having a direct flight from where I live. Now, the next example, without priming, the question was, please create three potential titles from my new online course that teaches how to use AI. Now, I'm gonna get an extremely generic response, but what I did instead to craft a better output was this. Please create three potential titles from my new online course that teaches people how to use AI. Here's an example of my recent course titles. Please emulate the style and written format of these. So we have one of my past courses, Video Editing Masterclass, Edit Your Videos Like a Pro, Cinematography Masterclass, The Complete Videography Guide. So it looks like I used two past examples, and here were the outputs. AI Mastery, The Complete Guide to Using Artificial Intelligence. The AI Expert, Learn How to, or Learn to Harness the Power of Artificial Intelligence. And then AI Foundations, A Step-by-Step -step Guide to Using Artificial Intelligence. So now you should understand how important and effective prompt priming is. So whether you're training the model on pages of your past writing style or just giving some more context and guidelines for ChatGPT to follow, this is gonna help you really start to use prompt engineering and get more effective outputs.